آخر وشین دوین فرگت آس مایا انش آگس یوی کریس برانتنس این شورتلند ستریت This drug is dangerous and I am not going to sit around doing nothing. As if one of the country's leading pharmaceutical companies would be so foolish. Wake up, who are you? Their main competitor dominates the cardiac drugs market and a viable alternative is worth millions. Huia has just announced plans to open a new primary care clinic. Guess who's funding the enterprise? Scott Speed. Hmm. Hush money, anyone? Because I could be an ex-murderer. Ex-murderers don't usually hold bad heavy bags from sugar. Heard you popped home for lunch. Thought you might like a croissant. Thanks. I'll put the jug on. How are you holding up? I've been better. Care to share? I'm not naming names, so don't even try. But one of the doctors has made a seriously bad call and there's nothing that I can do about it. That is just wrong. Yeah, I know. Well, if you feel strongly about it, you should... Your oven is so ancient. Oh, yeah, I'll do it. Anyway, you should talk to someone about it. Brenda, Tony, whoever, otherwise you won't be able to concentrate. Oh, uh, what? Huh? I think it's alive. Well, I didn't even know that was in there. Jane must have cooked it before. Anyway, I never clean the kitchen. I'm on bathroom and vacuuming. Jay's on kitchen and lawns. Um, anyway, it takes ages to heat up. Are you sure you've got time? I'm in no rush. I'll get the coffee going. Oh, just instant, sorry. But we've got milk and... Oh, once you go black, you never go back. Can't we think of a snappier title? We used to have a community health clinic. Well, what do you suggest? Urban Med, Metro GP. Oh, can I get a latte with my antibiotics, please? <laughs> right, let's get into it. A patient comes in with a cough. A triage nurse makes an assessment. It's non urgent. So down they go to the primary care clinic. Your doctors get more time to concentrate on the urgent cases, waiting times are reduced, and nurses finally get a decent tea break. Hallelujah. You've kept this under your head. Well, I didn't want to get everyone's hopes up until I had confirmation from the DHB. Oh, I'm sure you get a big fat gold star from them for this one. Mm. I'm just thinking about you guys and our systems. Of course, if the clinic is a success, the Ministry will use our model as a template for other hospitals around the country. I can see it now, the Huya Samuels wing. A uh, small problem. Non-urgent patients come to see us because they can't afford the 50 bucks to see a doctor. I'm aiming at keeping the fee as low as possible. How? Without government funding? Well, I will apply for a government subsidy, but the donation from Scott Spear will be more than enough to keep us afloat. Let's hear it for capitalism. Uh, which brings me to my second problem. Yes? If we pull the Mayak trial, will Scott Spear still fall We're out? not pulling the trial. Yeah, but if we did, are we obliged to do more trials? No, there are no strings attached. Scott Spear just want to help out, that's all. Any questions? Not at this stage. As far as I'm concerned, the sooner the better. Great. Thanks for your time. We need facts. Facts equals ammo. Like? Has your company ever sponsored a health unit like they're doing for us? Backhanders to GPs for pushing their product, you know, I scratch your back and so on. All big companies schmooze. It's essential. No, this goes way beyond schmoozing. They're trying to buy us off. Okay. Plan of action. I get hold of as many trialees as possible and check their bloods myself. You can't do that. Why not? It's just a phone call. Scott's bill will find out, then you're really in it. I don't care. Well, you should. He really got to you, didn't he? What's his name? Slimy John. He wasn't mucking around. My job's on the line. Well, then we keep it quiet, then. I don't know. Look, if we can't stop the trial and we can't talk to the patients, then we have to dig. This is a cover-up. Someone, somewhere, knows something. 
Look, Scott Spear is a corporate bully, and right now they've got both you and me behind the bike sheds, and the teachers aren't looking. So what are we going to do? So you're in? I'm in. Could I have a word? On or off the record? Uh, way off. Oh, my specialty. Go ahead. Mr. Walters? Oh, due in theatre this afternoon. Except he shouldn't be in theatre. He doesn't want the surgery. He wants to go home, live out his last days in peace. He told you this? Basically. But the surgeon completely railroaded him. Well, that's not on. Finally, someone who agrees with me. Of course I agree with you. He's a surgeon. Chris. He wouldn't listen to any of my concerns. Blasted me in front of Mark. I even tried to explain things to Tony, but... What? Oh, Chris is a highly experienced surgeon. And from what I've seen, he puts patient care high on his list of priorities. Well, I'm not saying he's like this with all well, this. Don't forget how he took on that old coot, Clive Stratton. He put his career on the line. Why? Because he can't stand shoddy work. Except this isn't shoddy work we're talking about. So I take it you share my concerns. Mark? I'm sorry, I shouldn't really comment. Mr. Walters is Chris's patient now. It's very cold out here on my own. Yeah, I know. Well, that's why I wanted your advice. When you took on Ingrid Campbell, did you have any doubts? Of course I did. But you did it anyway? Because it was the right thing for me to do. If you're that worried, you should take it upstairs. But not before you're given long and careful consideration. Otherwise I'll be labelled a narc for the rest of my career. Yeah. You get used to it. This is your call, not mine. Okay, we'll take you down to theatre soon. But first, I just wanted to check if you had any last-minute questions. No, it's all gobbledygook to me anyway. Yeah, well, it's very natural to get the wobbles before major surgery, but you're in safe hands. Oh, it's not the surgery that worries me. I just don't know if a, an old fellow like me is up to six months of painful recovery. Who said anything about six months? Well, I had a chat with Maya before. Six months is a worst-case scenario. And in terms of your recovery, we'll make sure you're as comfortable as possible. Yeah, I just think I'll be better off at home. I wouldn't even suggest the surgery unless I truly believed it was the best option. I don't just don't know. OK, look at it this way. If you don't have the surgery, you'll live the next year in hospital, eating through a tube. If you do have it, you'll be in relative comfort at home, eating normally. In fact, with the tumour gone, you may live longer than a year. Oh, what the hell? Go for it, Doc. Good. I'll see you on the other side for a beer. My shout. You bet. <laughs> Scott Spear lead yet another breakthrough. Scott Spear take up the fight against heart disease. Scott Spear's PAM 126 considered miracle drug. Propaganda, all of it. Keep looking. Oh, what's the point? These guys are way too slick and they've got the media eating it for lunch. Hang on a tick. Retired British professor Rick Middleberg reported widespread aplastic anemia in the animal trials of PAM 120. We're PAM 126. Yep, wait for it. PAM 120 was a precursor drug to PAM 126. What? While there was some adjustment to the offending compound before it was trialled in animals, Professor Middleberg claims that the level of anemia was only marginally acceptable. He even suspected at the time that there was some manipulation of the statistics to meet the requirements for human trials. What time is it in England, do you think? Time for Dr Middleberg to have a wee chat with the colonies.